as the most important uh, artifacts and monuments and antiquities uh, around the world. But Cairo has its own style. It also has its own uh, monuments. Many buildings still standing today as a testimony of the glory of this uh, uh, place, uh, Cairo. And it has lot, each monument has its story and its mystery. And we are joined today with the director of East Cairo Monuments, Dr. Mohammed Rashad, to talk more about the uh, important monuments in, in Cairo. Hello, sir, and welcome. Hello, Good welcome. afternoon, Dr. Mohammed. Good afternoon. Now, uh, let's start by knowing the main districts included in, uh, included in East Cairo. Uh, but first of all, I would like to uh, welcome you in our fantastic place in uh, Cairo, uh, the Baron Ban Palace. And, uh, it's one of the monuments in East Cairo, uh, Department of Archaeology. Uh, we have uh, four uh, uh, imperial uh, departments in uh, East Cairo, uh, starting from here Heliopolis uh, with uh, Baron Ballas. And we have the most fantastic place, uh, but n n nobody know about it uh, so much, uh, the Desert of Mamluks. And uh, really? yes. Okay, we want to know more about that. It's uh, the same of uh, Shah al uh -huh. And uh, we have um, uh, Ibrahim Tonsi uh, Department and Sayyid Aisha. Okay. They are all, uh, they all fantastic places, but no one uh, know about it because no spotlight on it. Sir, of course, um, we have lots of uh, monuments, as, as you said, and many places that are not well known uh, to people. But you said, uh, and Hela, of course, was impressed by the desert of uh, Mamluk. Yes. So tell us more about this place and you know why what? it is not known. Uh, because uh, no, nobody know about it, because uh, nobody wrote anything about it, and uh, the tourists uh, and no, there is no company of uh, tourist uh, mm -hmm. spotlight on it. And uh, we have, uh, you know, uh, Sultan Qad Bay have a great uh, mosque uh, which drawing on the, our Egyptian bound. It's one of uh, the most uh, and important uh, monuments in our territory. And we have Khankat Farid ibn Baru. And uh, we have the tomb that Khalif uh, Tawfiq, which buried in it. So we have a lot of monuments, but no one know about it. Mm -hmm. but, yes. the, but the question remains, uh, Doctor, what can we do in order for people to know about it? What uh, needs to be done? I would like to say uh, we could uh, show the, the, the all of the desert uh, of Mamluks on TV. Uh, we can shoot the, this program there in yes, another time. <laughs> Maybe you can help us with that. <laughs> of course, no problem with that. Okay. Uh, we can uh, make brochure for uh, uh, tourist information, uh, and we can make it uh, a place to visit, mm -hmm. like Sharon was. Mm -hmm. Sir, uh, Egypt is a place full of important uh, monuments around the world. Maybe if you compared Egypt to any other uh, country around the world it is considered the most important so um, but still we don't have the enough tourists coming to this country and uh, they say because of terrorism but if we talk about Turkey for example they have the same unrest maybe more than we have but is it, is it the, the problem of promotion or the problem of what what is the problem with Egypt? yes it's a problem of promotion mm -hmm. uh, we don't have a spotlight on the, our uh, monuments now uh, the numbers of tourists are uh, so uh, low, we, but we need to promote about, uh, make a promotion about, uh, on our uh, monuments. And I need TV to uh, show uh, how we can feel safe in this place. Uh, no one can get any problem when he uh, went to uh, a guide, a uh, tour guide in our place, on our monument. We have, now we feel safe, mm -hmm. so we need to promote about this. Okay. Uh, Dr. Mohammed, perhaps it's a coincidence that me and Zina are uh, residents of Heliopolis, so we are yeah. <laughs> very much interested to know about Heliopolis. And uh, Heliopolis perhaps uh, still enjoys um, a distinguished architectural style in many areas. What can we do to protect it? 
we have our uh, our own law about uh, archaeological law to protect our uh, monuments. Uh, we need to activate it, and we need more laws to uh, to can help and save uh, the fantastic buildings in Heliopolis, which. Uh, uh, we can see uh, any places will have the same number of these uh, buildings here and it has its own uh, shape yes. and it's uh, till now mm -hmm. and you can find this style in anywhere. Sir, uh, some, in, some of the important places uh, uh, in Egypt, the monuments of course, um, I don't know how to say it. Hela said that it's a kind of how do we protect it, but I say the problem is negligence. So why these monuments are not well taken care of? Is it the problem of money? Is it the problem Funding? of... Uh, it's uh, a lot of problems. Uh, money, uh, people who uh, can deal with these monuments, uh, the habitats where they... Uh, can deal uh, every day with the moments, uh, monuments. Uh, they they don't take any care uh, to deal with it. Uh, we need uh, more uh, culture uh, uh, about our monuments. Uh, we need to uh, cooperate with the people to know. Raise awareness. Yes, mm -hmm. and uh, the most big problem is money no funds to help our to, and can save our monuments. Okay. Uh, sir, are there any plans to uh, develop and protect the monuments in East Cairo? Now, yes. Uh, there is a department, Historical Cairo, uh, working to protect and development and conservation uh, some monuments, including uh, Baron uh, Palace. Okay. Uh, but, you know, uh, there is not enough money, so it's so slow. We need it fast, but uh, we can't do anything without money. Okay. Sir, tell us a story, a weird story, about an important monument in East Cairo. What do you have to tell us? Uh, in East Cairo, mm -hmm. uh, we have the Baron Ben. It's, uh, there is a lot of rumors about it. Uh, one of them that uh, the palace is turned around, the sun, of course it's rumor, and uh, the second that uh, the neighbor to palace uh, hear uh, a lot of voices uh, in the night, but I, I think there is nothing, and there is a tunnel be, uh, underground between the palace and uh, the Catholic Church, Basilica, which built by uh, Alexander Marcel, the same architect uh, who built this, uh, this uh, palace. This is the most uh, important stories about... Uh, but they are all rumors. They are all rumors? They are all rumors, yes. Are you sure? <laughs> yes, of course. I am so sure. Okay. Uh, sir, what are the prospects of using the Baron Palace as a touristic uh, destination? What can we do to bring tourists here? Uh, first of all, we have to uh, promote about it. Mm -hmm. And I think uh, there is a studies that uh, may uh, we may we maybe make a museum, small museum here, for the barons, and uh, maybe uh, a gallery, uh, some small project, but maybe uh, make an income to our uh, ministry who can uh, conserve the conservation of this uh, palace. Sir, when you open uh, this important place for events such as weddings and uh, yes. and uh, special uh, events, of course it brings money, but does it have any impact, bad impact on the monument itself? No, because uh, the wedding party uh, in the garden, uh, we can deal with uh, we promote any, uh, we prevent anybody to uh, get uh, up to the palace. Uh, any events uh, in the garden, only in the garden. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, sir, uh, what are uh, the monuments in this zone that needs a special treatment or face uh, special practice in East Cairo? Uh, of course, uh, Baron Balas is the mm -hmm. first one, and we have uh, the Balas of uh, Sultan Hussein Kamil mm -hmm. on the opposite side. Uh, 
we need to uh, conservation or to, to make conservation to uh, restrain. Uh, it's a, a very important part, but no one heard about it. We we need to uh, promote about it. It's uh, a fantastic place. Uh, and on the other side, in East Cairo, uh, in the Mamluk uh, Desert, uh, there is a lot of monuments where need to be uh, treated carefully. You but mentioned the Sultan Sufin Kamel Palace yes. here yes. in the opposite. It's on the side. On the other side. Tell us more about it. Uh, there is a story about it uh, that when uh, Baron uh, built his uh, palace, uh, Sultan Sufin Kamel felt uh, jealous. So he wants uh, to take this palace from uh, the Baron, but of course Baron uh, loved his palace, so he built this uh, uh, palace to Sultan Hussein Kamil, but he reviews it. Hmm. But it, it was called Sultan, uh, Sultan Hussein Palace. But was it inhabited or it was just built without uh, anyone living in it? Uh, no, he, uh, uh, Sultan Amalek, the wife of Sultan Hussein, uh -huh. inhabited it. Okay. And now it's known as uh, Sultan Malak Palace. Okay. Sir, what are the obstacles or, or the problems that you face besides the, the funding or the money problem? Uh, the culture. Uh, a lot of people who are dealing with our monuments uh, don't, doesn't have the real culture how to deal with our monuments. You are, sometimes in, in the mosque you find uh, people uh, wrote their names. Uh, I think to change this culture and take more important uh, steps to uh, to let people feel that they own or they are the owners of these monuments. Mm -hmm. um, if we need to use this program in order to deliver a message, whether to the government, uh, to the people, to the Ministry of Tourism, uh, to the uh, Tourism agents, what we need to do? Uh, we have to say uh, now uh, we have uh, uh, we feel uh, safe. Uh, promote about this baron and this palace to get more uh, tourists to come in Egypt. Uh, I think this program is uh, enough to to say how, uh, how 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 much have we uh, a lot of monuments mm. it's a good letter we can send to uh, any to uh, outside uh, another countries but sir you, you can't be invited us to come here uh, to, to, to the palace don't you think that you, you need to invite other international channels uh, broadcasting outside egypt to come and, and shoot uh, from this palace in order to show their audience uh, the importance of this very interesting place? Of course, it's more important for uh, uh, another people and another uh, channel to come, to, and, uh, come here and uh, uh, take shots to the palace and another, uh, our other monuments. Uh, we welcome uh, everyone and everybody can give no problem with that. Sir, um, if this place is open to public, uh, will it bring money, like the special events that you, you held in here? Of course it will bring money. So why don't uh, make this? Uh, uh, now uh, the, the Department of uh, Historical Cairo uh, make uh, studies to uh, conservation the palace. After this project will finish, I think it will be open to the audience. But uh, would, do you need to um, lay certain rules or regulations or um, add the uh, security, for example, if you're going to open it to, uh, to the audience, to the public? Of course, and now uh, when any uh, event uh, done in this palace, we have our condition, we have our uh, uh, security uh, to uh, make sure that palace uh, doesn't uh, harm or anything bad could have could happen to the palace. So uh, it's already done. Okay. Sir, how old is this place? Uh, 108 years, I think. So uh, established in uh, from starting from uh, 1907 till 1911. If we put it on the on a category with other monuments, how important it is? 
it's uh, no, it's the more important uh, monument in Egypt uh, because uh, it's fabulous place. Uh, uh, it's uh, we we can't find any uh, palace in Egypt with this uh, uh, value because it it makes between uh, new classical uh, and new Renaissance style in architecture and. Uh, uh, Arc and uh, Indian and the Cambodian so it's uh, I think there is uh, no monument in the whole world uh, like this Parum uh, Palace okay, okay. uh, Dr. Mohammad Rashad, the director of East Cairo Monuments, thank you very much uh, sir for being with us thank you, thank you. And, uh, ladies and gentlemen stay with us uh, we will be having more information about the Baron Palace right after the break stay with us